I remember being on vacation with my family last summer. We were at dinner at this restaurant. We were ordering some food, we ordering some steaks, whatever. And we were having fun. And out of nowhere, I remember my family asking me, how is copywriting going? My blood instantly froze. It was like my, my heart dropped. I don't know, my, I, I got into flight or fight or flight mode and I was like, what, what am I going to tell them now? What am I going to tell them? I couldn't even speak. You know, this feel when you feel anxious, you know, this thing when you feel anxious and you can't even speak. That's what I felt. I couldn't even speak. And at that point, I had told them that I wanted to drop out of college, but I still wasn't making money. I still couldn't sustain my living. I couldn't pay for my living expenses. And yeah. And on top of that, I was sending hundreds of hours a day following all this bullshit that these gurus will tell you, but nothing was working. That's when I thought, fuck it, I'm quitting. This copyright thing is taking way too long and it clearly doesn't work. I was like, I should have reached 10k a month like three months ago. Besides, isn't that what they tell you? 90 days to, to reaches. I said, I'm already nine months in and nothing's working. Why? Maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe, maybe, I don't, maybe my, my IQ is lower. Maybe I don't have some gift that these other people have. Maybe it's because my, maybe it's not because I'm a native speaker. I'm not a native English speaker. As you can tell by my accent. And... Maybe it's because I'm still 18 years old. Maybe that's it. Maybe I don't have a college degree. Maybe that is maybe that's what they're looking for. And I was thinking all this stuff. And for a f- for some time, I was like, maybe if I go to college, my life will be easier. I was like, at least if I go to college, I wouldn't be having these little panic attacks. These fucking panic attacks. Every morning I woke up and I... I wanted to open my email and to open my Instagram and see that none of my outreach got a reply yesterday. Maybe you feel like this too. Then, then I remembered, I was, at, I was, I'm, I'm gonna lie to you, I was this close to quitting copywriting. I was this close. I was this close. And then I, then as I was sitting in my bed one night, I, I think it was that night, and I was kind of evaluating whether I should quit college and stay in college, do copywriting, quit copywriting, whatever. That's what I was thinking. And I started evaluating all the reasons I started copywriting in the first place. It was, I, could, I wouldn't, I would never want to take a, take orders from anyone, whether it was a boss, a professor or parents. I wanted to travel the world. I didn't want to stay, stay stuck in one place. I didn't want to be working for 60 hours a week for somebody else and not doing my thing I wanted to have to be making my own schedule what, did, do I want to wake up today and train boom that's what I'm going to do do I want to go out with coffee at 2pm where if you want to work if you work at 9 to 5 you'll be working from 9 to 5 do you want to do this no I don't want to do this but do I want to go for, for coffee at 2pm yeah and I'm, I'm, that's what I wanted and thinking about all these things is is what kept me in the game. And fast forward today, I'm making $10,000 a month. I'm working one to four hours a day. Sometimes I don't even work. Other days, I, I work for the whole day, whatever I feel like. And I train two to four hours a day. I do my home hobbies every single day. I spend time with family, with friends. I buy cool stuff. And I travel the world. That's what I do. And the reason why people are struggling to land... They're first comparing clients and complain and all this stuff. It's because it's because of their mindset. They don't they think that not landing clients is a bad thing. When in reality it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Because just like you get physically tougher by going to the gym and training, the way you get emotionally tougher is by going through hard situations. It's not about it's not just about landing a client in one day. It's about getting all the skills you need to reach that level. 
But that's something people, most people don't think. The people want to land the clients within one day of starting cooperating. They want to land the client with 10 outreaches. And bro, that never happens. That never happens. You need to acquire skills. You need to send a lot of outreaches up front. You need to do, you need to do the work. It doesn't happen like this. It doesn't happen overnight. You don't see progress overnight. And you're growing. You're growing. When you're going through toughness, when you're going through hardship, you're growing. Do you want to grow? Or do you want to stay stuck in the same place? I want to grow. And what's the best way to grow? But keep on going through these tough situations. And you not only grow emotionally and whatever, but you also become tougher mentally. And this is something nobody can take away from you. When you become tougher mentally, you're unstoppable. And the only way to become tougher mentally is by going through these phases. This is the only way. So, another thing is avoiding speed running your cooperating career. You don't want to speed run because when you say speed run, it implies that you're gonna you're gonna do for you're gonna go full on, f- super hard. For three to six months, and if it doesn't work, you're not gonna do anything. You're gonna blast yourself out, just sending thousands of others a day. But that doesn't work. That doesn't work. It's because you get burned out. This is something a lot of people talk about. Oh, if you get burned out, you're soft. But burnout is real. Burnout is real. I've experienced this. You've probably experienced this. And the gurus don't don't tell you this. They just it feels like you're you're this. It feels like they're trying to. They're having this carrot. You're, let's say you're a donkey, for example. And I'm not saying you're a donkey. Just think about it. So let's say you're a donkey, and the guru is above the donkey, and you have a, a fish. What's it called? A. Let's say they have a stick with a carrot hanging in front of you, and they're like, and it's like they're. They're getting you to keep walking, and they're telling you, "Oh, don't listen to your emotions." Uh, pff, this is garbage. You can't keep. You're just soft. You're just soft. That's what they tell you. There's no burnout. It's just you're soft. You're soft. Bro, there is burnout. And everybody has felt this. Everybody has felt this. So, don't, f- don't listen to these gurus, man. Please. Please. And here's another thing I want you to think about. If you're not learning clients, it's a good thing. It means you just need to get better at your skill. If you're not learning clients, it means you're not good enough. You just need to get better. That's it. That's it. And another thing is, what comes easy, goes easy. Just think about it. Some people, some people say they have these good genetics and they build muscle very quickly. So they go to the gym for one week, they build some muscle... And then within two to three days of stopping go to the gym, they've lost the muscle again. This is because what comes easy goes easy. But if something takes too much time, now I'm not maybe you're focusing on the wrong things. I'm not saying if you're not getting results, it means you're you're, you're on, a, on a good journey. I'm not saying this. I'm just saying that a lot of times good shit is gonna take more time than what you think. Uh, this is probably because the reason we think we have this long, we have this short time horizon for achieving results is probably because of TikTok, it's probably because of Netflix and all of this stuff. Because we think that we can achieve results faster and we think that, bam, everything should be quick. But most things that are worth having don't come quick. They take time. They take a lot of time, actually. And... Who would you rather be? This is another question I want to ask you. Would you rather be this millionaire kid who... This kid who woke, who, who was born and it was a millionaire before they, they even got born? Or would you like to to become a 10k a month corporate or 100k, 1 millionaire, millionaire, whatever you want, whatever is your goal? Or would you like to, to reach that level on your own? Which would you want to do? Which person would you rather be? Because 
I've read a lot of studies from people who say, from people who grew up millionaires, that they were the most depressed people. And these are the people who do drugs and all of this stuff. It's because they never bled for anything. All, everything was given to them. They didn't have to work for anything. And that's not a life I want to live. And I'm, I'm guessing you don't either. Because what's what's worth living if you don't have anything else to conquer? I like conquering things. I like dominating. I like it taking over the world. That, that's my whole motto. I think about this all the time. Maybe you think I'm stupid. I don't care. And that's what you want to do. You want to be the millionaire kid who who didn't do anything. You want to grow. You want to grind yourself. That's the, That makes the journey much faster. You're, you'll appreciate the 10k month so much more if it takes time. Okay, let's think about lottery. How many people have you seen winning the lottery, winning millions, and burning their money within days or months or weeks? Have you seen that? It was because it came easy to them. It got lucky. They didn't have to, to work for it. If Think about it. If they had worked hard for that million, do you think they would have spent it stupidly? Or would they have found some way to invest it in whatever? I bet you they would. I bet you they would. So don't be, don't try to, don't, don't think that landing clients is, should happen fast. Or, no, 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 I, I don't really think, I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Okay? Just appreciate the journey. Just appreciate the journey. And just accept that the journey is going to be hard. That's what I want you to think about. I want you to think that reaching 10k a month is going to take 10 years. That's what I want you to think about. I want you to think about that reaching 10k is going to take 5 years, 10 years. And I'm not saying it will. It's just that if you have this infinite game mindset, it's that you won't quit. And you're going to keep playing the game. And you're going to keep getting better at the skill. You're going to keep improving. And eventually you're going to hit... 5, 10k a month. It's going to happen way, way faster. It's going to happen way faster. Possibly in one year. That's how long it took me. It took me one year and then three months. So, it doesn't take 5 to 10 years. Especially if you have the right guidance. It doesn't take that much. And another thing I wanted to, to bring up is that one of the ways, one of the reasons why I was, I felt like I had to land a client is because of friends and family. I felt like I needed to impress them or I needed to whatever. And they were pushing me, you know, uh, have you made money? And I felt really bad whenever they brought up copywriting. And I was like, I need to I need to change this. I need to change this. Why isn't this thing working? And every time they were telling me, we we're having a conversation, I felt bad about it. So I, I was in this situation where I was like, maybe I need to quit. Maybe I'm going to quit. Maybe I'm not going to quit. And this is some, some of the stuff I was thinking about. And I realized that if I got away from them, and I did, I was feeling much better. Much, much better. And not only that, but I started seeing progress. Because when I when I stopped having people who were pushing me all the time and annoying me and getting under my skin, I, had, I started thinking more clearly. It was like I got my mind back. I don't know. It was like my, my mind was hijacked and I got it back. That's what I felt. Maybe you don't feel like this. That's what I felt. So, yeah. When I was a beginner, I detached myself from a lot of beginners. And I mean, from a lot of families, from, from my family and a lot of friends. I detached myself from these people. And that's how I reached 10 came on so fast. Fast. And another thing I did is I joined communities with people who were ahead of me. Because if they, I, f I remember thinking that if they were ahead of me and I could just pick their brain, then I would get to where I want to go much faster. Much faster. And that's what I did. That's why I reached 10 came on so fast. And I, th I think if you do the same, you're going to reach 10 came on faster. So yeah, that's all I got for you for the day. Hope you get some value out of this. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.